Pigtail Wednesday. Pigtail Wednesday. Yeah. Woo -woo. Well, hey, everybody. Welcome back to Joe Wednesdays. How are we doing? Uh, so, yeah, so I'm sharing this on Facebook again, I know. But Joe, you said you weren't going to share it on Facebook anymore. I know, I hold, hold on, I have an explanation. So Friday, for like the first time in probably over a year now, um, I actually went into my work office instead of just uh, working uh, remotely. Um, and in talking with a few people there, I, I was also like catching up with my boss because I hadn't like seen him in a while and he was telling me that him and his wife have been watching my Joe Wednesday videos on their Facebook. So, um, <laughs> and I, I, you know, I was flattered for one. I was like, oh, that's very nice of you guys. Um, but I didn't realize that there were some people that were like exclusively watching it on Facebook over this last month. So, um, I guess, um, I guess I'll just keep posting them here if that's if that's where you guys prefer uh, looking for them. Uh, if you could do me a favor though, if you could like just leave a like on uh, the the Facebook post, um, just so I got an idea of like who's actually watching, um, that'd be great. I'd appreciate it. Um, and obviously, oh, and also thank you for thank you for watching. So <laughs> anyway, so what are we talking about on Joe Wednesday? Um, I don't really have too much to talk about on my list of topics other than a lot of TV that I've been watching over the last couple months that I haven't talked about. So maybe we're just going to have Joe Wednesday TV episode. Um, <laughs> so, uh, but first, uh, something uh, came up on my YouTube feed the other day that just kind of, it kind of made me laugh just because like the title of it was just so strikingly contradictory. Um, and I mean, I've, I've talked about it before, about how, like, I generally don't know actors' names just as, like, my own personal way of, like, giving them kind of, like, separation and distance because I think that, um, people invest too much interest into, you know, like, Hollywood people's personal lives, that kind of stuff. Um, so I won't rehash that whole thing out because I already talked about it, but... Um, I saw a video, because I've, cause I've been seeing a lot of Avenger stuff come up on my feed. I saw a video titled, Tom Holland's Personal Drama That You Had No Idea About. And I'm like, isn't... It's personal, so I shouldn't know about it? It's like, that's... <laughs> like, come on, like... How is this not a contradictory statement? But it's like, I just... I don't get how... I, I feel like... People probably think of it as like a, you know, like a guilty pleasure thing. And it's just like, like, don't you see that like your guilty pleasure is like at the expense of people's personal space? But oh, well, not going to get back into it again. Um, so, uh, what TV have I been watching lately? So, um, on the Netflix front, um, I, I guess I just wanted to try to change it up a little bit and, and watch something that was kind of maybe proliferally in my interest, but maybe not necessarily something I would go for. Um, so they had this animated series called The Blood of Zeus that I gave a watch, and oh my god, it was not good. <laughs> so, um, but there, there's, there's a little stubbornness in me that usually makes me, like, at least give it a, a full watch so that I at least can, like, oh, like, the first couple episodes stuck, the whole thing is bad. No, like, I'll give it, like, the full watch, I'll watch all the episodes and then kind of make a decision. Um, but this one, it was just not good. It was not good. I do not recommend watching it. Um, I think it was a mix of, they had a lot that they wanted to do with, like, the Greek mythology they wanted to tell an interesting story, but they didn't know how to put it all in there. And then it just, like, they built up these, like, seemingly, like, important plot points. And then just, like, they just go away. They Like, like, like Zeus had his uh, demigod son climb a mountain to get the, uh, like adamant or whatever it was at the top so he could forge the most powerful blade the world has ever seen and so he goes and does that and then the kid throws the sword away and it maybe comes up in another episode as it never used again and it was like you made it sound like he was going to be like a ruler leader of people and he needed this sword to lead the way or something and now we're not even using it like what was the point of that 
and like oh my god the 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 last episode it was the they had like all of these uh these gods and giants fighting each other and it like it made it made no it, it didn't like it didn't have a rise and fall to it or it didn't like kind of build up to like this big clash climax kind of thing like it it was just kind of like Oh, this god's on the field. Oh, he got caught by a giant. Oh, this god's here. Oh, this god's fighting him. Oh, god. And, like, they must have, like, done that and then just, like, stood there in that pose for, like, the rest of the battle. Because, like, once it resolves, you just return to seeing, like, them, like, stop in position. And it's like, why? Like, this is so dumb. And it and it didn't make any sense because, like, you know, gods were backstabbing and, and giants were turning allegiances all over. And I was like, okay, like at least choose to be a thing and like the main like antagonist guy and then was like the brother of the demigod protagonist and like it made it seem like he was trying to rebel against all the gods but then like in the final battle he's working with all of them and it's just like it doesn't make any sense <laughs> so it wasn't really that great and oh by the way our protagonist has friends that just magically jump into the fray without knowing much about them or knowing their fighting prowess or anything like that. There was only one that you knew could fight, but they're just magically there and it's fine. <laughs> so yeah, no, I uh, don't give that a recommendation. Um, the other show that I was watching on Netflix was, I, I originally started watching it like way, like months, months back on uh, Amazon Prime, um, that Hannibal show. Um, I don't know how much of like the Hannibal Lecter like um like the Silence of the Lambs movie and the Red Dragon movie and I don't know what other movies have been done about Hannibal Lecter I don't know how much of that is like rooted in truth and how much was just kind of like fictional that they made up about him but um I don't think they were really looking into the like Hannibal the cannibal side of things I think they were really kind of exploring more of like the the bad things that Hannibal did as like a psychiatrist and like like unethical practices that he was doing and that kind of stuff and um like decisions he would make or like manipulations that he would do just because he was curious to see how people would react and that kind of stuff it was it, I I mean I enjoyed the show um it's definitely not for you know people that are grossed out or creeped out by murder and that kind of stuff because I it's it's all in there um but it was actually kind of an interesting take on the relationship between Hannibal Lecter and then Will Graham, who in, I think in the Red Dragon movie was the guy that like caught and like, uh, or that caught Hannibal. Um, but like they actually have this kind of weird, um, I would kind of compare it to like a, a Joker and Batman relationship where like like one's like pushing the other and it's like well, the only real difference between like the Batman Will Graham one is that like he's not going to commit murder but like he can he can like see and understand the mind of a criminal and then and I think the only difference between like Batman and Joker versus Hannibal and uh Will Graham is that like Hannibal actually kind of succeeds in in corrupting Will a lot um and and how that plays out is kind of what the what the, the show's about so um that one I, th I think that one was interesting uh it was very fun to uh it, it was i don't know if fun is the right word uh <laughs> so that's why i kind of stopped i don't know if fun is the right word but like if you enjoy thrillers it would be a good one i mean if you like the movies that hannibal lecter is covered in you'll probably like the show as well so lastly, the other the other uh, TV show I wanted to talk about was WandaVision. Um, WandaVision was really cool. I had a really fun time um, watching that. I think um, it was it was cool to see some continuity come in from like the MCU movies and see it portrayed in a TV show uh, instead of a movie. I thought that was cool. I think they like if there was a challenge in transition, I think they did that really well. But I'm. Um, I'm not a good enough TV or movie critic to really put any merit to that one way or the other. Um, it was kind of an interesting experience for me because I, I cannot remember the last time I watched a TV show week to week. 
Um, <laughs> I'm def I'm definitely of the uh, binge watching variety uh, of of TV watchers. So um, waiting for a Wanda uh, WandaVision episode every week was like kind of kind of weird. Um, and it was it was also kind of challenging because like I'm I'm uh, um, there are a few like Discord chats that I'm a part of, and I mean like it comes up uh, like Marvel stuff comes up on my Facebook feed sometimes too, and it's just like seeing all the different you know videos that that people were making. I'm like, oh, what happened this weekend? What does this mean? And like, oh, li this goes back into the comics, a b blah blah blah. And it's just like I there's just there's so much talk about it, and it's just like I don't I haven't like watched it yet. Like, would you shut up? Like, <laughs> you know, I was never a uh, uh, yeah, I don't. I don't remember the last TV show I watched on like TV and like waiting for a week to week release of an episode. It's been forever. Um, but yeah, no, I uh, Wand WandaVision. I I really liked it. Um, definitely give it a watch if you're if you're uh, interested. If you like the Marvel stuff, it will not disappoint. Well, anyway, that's all I'm gonna be talking about today. Hope you enjoyed uh, Joe's uh, TV reviews. Apparently, it was today's Joe Wednesday it was my TV review video. So, um, anyway, um, have a good week, and we'll see you next week. Until then, take care of yourselves. Bye, guys.